just like to say thanks to my existing subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the projects I'm working on. So in the first part I was trying to draw one of these, a, a Magnox flask wagon and I'd drawn the wagon and its fitments, 3D printed the bogies, painted them, 3D printed the deck sections and assembled them and now it was time to move on to the flask. Now there isn't much information on these flasks but I did find some uh, photographs on the internet. So I knew it had to fit within the dimensions of the wagon so that gave me one axis to scale from. From that I worked out the basic footprint with indents in the corners to to engage in the guide plates and the next bit would be the fins. I assumed that they were probably made out of one inch plate and used that dimension to scale the distance that they were apart and being symmetrical around the center axis they were easy enough to repeat and then a couple of shorter versions in the center where the lifting fitment will go eventually. The two end plates have top and bottom eye holes for lifting and the next part is to copy them around the two ends and re reflect them across to the opposite side. On goes the lifting fitment and then finally on the bottom of the flask we need the four feet that it stands on. Up to the top and we start to generate the lid which is a flat plate with the corners taken out and a chunk on top. Into the corners are these guide devices and then we radius, radius them into the lid and next we need some very substantial bolt heads that bolt the lid down and there's 16 of those copied around and finally a lifting fitment on top of the flask itself. And there you go. Let's spin it around and have a look at it from all angles and then put it in the wagon. Now when they were in transit they had a cover that went over the top of them. This was supported by four I-beam legs locate into the fitments already on the wagon and then these legs have flat planes basically folded around at 45 degrees with an angled corner and then two lifting eyelets on the top of that. So that's the drawing stage completely finished. Next stage will be to import the flask and the lid separately into Chi2 box, process them and then output them onto the onto a USB stick, stick them in the 3D printer and fire it up with some resin. And then in goes the lid. Tricky little sucker this had lots and lots of support within it which was very very difficult to take off afterwards. It did stop the thin wall sections from deforming during printing and curing. Here we have the finished prints. Here's a closer look at the flask and there's the lid. And all we need to do now is put them on some sticks and paint them yellow and white respectively.
Right, all finished. This is what I drew, and this is what I got. The two flasks resplendent in the yellow colour. And the two lids, very delicate little things these. And finally, let's have a look at the flask in the wagon from a couple of angles. And finally, with the cover on. Uh, the project isn't quite finished yet because I need to work out some decals to go on it. But in the meantime, I'm going to stick it on the railway and run some trains. Here's my Black 5 emerging from the tunnel, working hard on the grade. With the flat wagon right behind, as per photographs. Note to self, must adjust that CV for the oil lamp and tint it. And on the return trip, it's a 9F with a different flash wagon. The keen eyed amongst you will spot that this is the later solid centered, welded well wagon. That's the bonus you get with 3D printing. With a few alterations to the drawing, 
it's possible to produce variant versions of the same wagon. Still got to work out how to do the decals and lettering on the wagons but I think I'm just going to run them for the time being and then weather them. Thanks for watching, please comment, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell for notification. More projects are on their way.